In our last episode, we hiked a majestic stretch of trail just outside of Namche, got a glimpse into the colorful Tengbuche Monastery, and saw the most stunning views of the Himalayas. In this episode, we continue our trek to the town of Dingbuche. We stop to acclimate at 4,400 meters, nearly 14,500 feet, and get our first taste of snow. We explore the town and enjoy the hospitality of the Good Luck Hotel. We're Mason and Shelley, and we're just adrift. Episode 150. Today, day buche to ding buche. Day five. The hike from Dibuche to Dingbuche is 12 kilometers, nearly seven and a half miles, with significant elevation gain. To acclimate, we will stay two nights here to adjust to life at 4,400 meters, which is over 14,000 feet. This is officially the highest altitude I have ever stayed at. Even though we're gaining elevation, we're making a good steady pace. Trekking gives you a lot of time to think. Traveling a long distance on foot constantly changes your definition of what is possible and impossible. There's a rhythm to your step, to your breath. It's a moving meditation in nature. You see things you have never seen, step foot places most have never been, and notice beauty you would otherwise miss. Everything is a moment in time and there's something to be said about being fully present. We travel to better see and know the world. Checking here makes me realize it's much about the same thing. Moving further away from Debuche, the trail begins to change. The trees become sparse, the trail is exposed, and the landscape more rugged. The ground cover changes to low shrubbery and deep red sea buckthorns. Gravel and scree cover the mountains. The combination of colors create a beautiful palette of grays, ice blues, deep reds, and greens. The air is fresh and you can feel the chill from the snow in the distance. We pass more stupas and we find out each holds religious artifacts or remains, depicting the many faces and all-seeing eyes of Buddha. Some are more welcoming than others. The stupa overlooking Dingbuche has smiling eyes and greets us readily. Standing above the town, looking down, the prayer flags flying overhead, bright and beautiful. They make me miss our prayer flags at home. Jeet explains each hue signifies an element. Blue represents the sky, white represents the air, red symbolizes fire, green symbolizes water, and yellow symbolizes earth. All five colors together signify balance. Hanging then blesses the town and clears the air. I never realized before that each flag depicts a wind horse on the center. The wind horse is believed to carry the mantras on the wind, spreading goodwill and positive energy wherever they go. From above, we can see the whole town and I'm amazed how big Dingbuche is. All of this was built with materials carried up or flown in. There are no roads or cars, just trails. It was so good to get inside, relax, and warm up with a cup of tea. The Good Luck Hotel is cozy inside, decorated with warm woods, colorful carvings, and pillows run along the walls of bench seating. Upstairs, our room is one of the best we've stayed in and a typical layout for tea house bedrooms. We have two twin beds that come with pillows, sheets, and a thick comforter. A window with a substantial window ledge, which doubles as a nightstand, coat hooks, carpeting on the floor, and one overhead light. The room is simple, but clean. We will be staying here two nights, so we opt to freshen up once we get settled. We got a shower, kind of. <laughs> it's a bowl of hot water. So once you go above 4,000 meters, it starts to really get cold. 
and you might be able to find a gas shower, but once you get out of it, your body will get cold so fast, it might hurt you more than it helps you. One great alternative is a hot water basin. And you can ask for it at the desk, at the, the little front desk at the tea house. And it's so nice to have to wash your face, shave with, maybe soak your feet. It's pretty nice when you haven't had hot water in a long time, except for in tea. Oh. What? This feels so good. <laughs> Too hot? <laughs> Hi everybody, Mason and Shelly with Just a Drift. Today is day six of our trek. We're actually taking a rest day in Dingbuche. Uh, we're about to go on a little side hike and then we're gonna go explore the town. We had a really good breakfast. We tried something new, a chocolate pancake. Look at that pancake. Whoa, it's like a waffle pancake. <laughs> it's like this big, this thick, delicious. So now we gotta go burn all of that off. <laughs> It's a beautiful day and it's clear and we can actually see all of the mountains around us. So definitely gorgeous today. meters which is the equivalent to uh, the highest point in the US in the lower 48 Mount Whitney which is crazy to think about we made it to our spot that we wanted to, to get to there is a really small Gumpa with only one monk that's very close Gumpa is a monastery it's called Chukum Belli, according to Jeet. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> so we're gonna walk close to it. We won't disturb the peace of the location. It looks like something out of a painting. It's just all on its own on the side of a mountain. Once we got back from our, our day hike today, we had some lunch. It was delicious. Try the Sherpa stew. It's got a little bit of everything. It's got like rice dumplings, noodles, macaroni. It's delicious. And we got some cheese and potato momos. Also delicious. We are on our way right now to the pharmacy in Dingbuche to get some water purification tablets. How much is it? 800. 800? Or one packet, yeah. Okay. And can we also get some, uh, some Herbo? This? The, no. the oh, other one? one? Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah.
you want to get? I feel like we should get apple pie, but the brownie looks so good. Yeah, also good. Cinnamon also good. Yeah. Chocolate cake. Oh, there's chocolate cake too. Yeah. Oh man. The brownie looks brownie. Really good. Brownie. We'll do a brownie then. One brownie? Cafe 4410 was a power stop. That was delicious and needed. And now it's snowing outside and it's so beautiful. A lot of snow, I gotta protect the camera. Oh yeah. <laughs> Got my little camera baby. Sorry GoPro, you're out in the cold. So cold. <sighs> we got back just in time before it opened up. Wow. It's gonna be a beautiful hike tomorrow. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe.